what's going on YouTube Q back here again with another video for you today's video I'm about to explain to you all why I ended up buying the 2021 BMW M2 competition so if you've been following the channel for a while you know that I've been looking at a bunch of cars and it's been a long time to get this car like I've been searching behind the scenes for a car and this car was the perfect car for this time for me right now in this moment right here 2023 February why did I get this M2 so I, I never really talked about them like I mentioned BMWs a few times on the channel but they're always like second or third choice but this time I finally settled down and got a BMW M2 so I had a few in the past and I still own one at the moment and I'll get to that later so I think this is the perfect car to bring to the channel and we'll talk about why but cue the intro and let's get into it So this M2 is the F87 chassis build. And they got a G87 coming out this spring. So I could have waited for that. But waiting for that, it would have been a long wait. So it's a play on words with wait too. It's big wait, big wait. So it would have taken months, probably closer to a year to order one and get one. I would have had to have jumped in line sooner. So the new one is going to have the... What is it going to have a S85 engine on it? This has the S55. The Super has the B85. Is it the S85? I don't know. All these engine calls are causing me trouble. So it's going to have an updated engine, more power, but along with more power, there comes more weight. So that's the play on words with weight. So the new one, the new M, that's not even the M2, the 240, the M240, that thing weighs like 3,900 pounds and it has all wheel drive in it too. And I like rear wheel drive because it keeps the fun in there. You can get a little tail happy if you want to. But 3,900 pounds in a car this small, that is a behemoth. So I'm worried about the fun factor on that. So I think this one will be the more fun car. And then maybe the M2. The M2 has got a way lighter than that. I don't know what they're going to do with the M2 as far as it's going to have a manual. So I imagine they will put that with the rear wheel drive. So it should have dropped the weight some. We just got to wait and see. So we'll revisit that later on. So if you've been with my channel for a while, follow me for the past year, you'll see a few of the cars that I've owned. And I think personally, this is the perfect blend between my GT350 and my Camaros. So what I mean by that, the GT350 revved really high, the 8250. This revs the 7600. So I like the to rev, but the GT350 and normal driving, I couldn't tap into that power because I had the rev so high and I couldn't do it without breaking laws. And the Camaro, with the, the engine in that, it has a lot of torque, the SS and the ZL1. ZL1 was kind of overkill, but I'll, I'll just talk about the SS. So the SS, it had torque like all the way through from mid-range all the way to up top. This car kind of blends that together. So I get the rev high, and this car has a, a six liter, inline six, 404, 405 horsepower, 406 pound-feet of torque. GT350 was at 526 with 429 pound-feet of torque. The Camaro SS was at 455 455 so this kind of blends that in and it's lighter than both of them so i get the turbos to give me the torque and then the inline six is just revs naturally so i get both of those combined in one package now i'm about to talk about a few cars that i were trying to get as well as the m2 and the other car that was number one on my list it became the supra so the supra as i said earlier has the b85 no b58 man these numbers are effing me up but it has that engine similar to this one it's like 300 pounds lighter it's a little bit down on horsepower it's like 380 something on that one this one's 405 so the supra the reason i got the integra is for so i can get an impractical car and the supra fits that bill very similar to this got the bmw i drive in there and everything but the supra as well as the nissan z and i'll get to that in just a second the supra is so hard to get to i found a couple of them one was in New Jersey. They they said they sell the most of them, but they're all marked up five thousand. And I'm not about paying the markup. Not five thousand, like a grand, maybe two grand. It depends on the car, but five thousand. 
that would have taken the car from, and it was the super, the premium, it would have taken the car to $65,000. You know what I paid $65,000 for? A ZL1. Super and a ZL1, they are not equal. So I can't, I just sold a ZL1 to get myself in this predicament. I'm not about to pay more for a car that's lower on the totem pole to me. Nissan Z. Nissan, they they can't demand these markups, man. Because Nissan, you look at the Nismos from the previous generations of the 370, they they were down to like 30K. Nissans don't hold value. I'm not paying 15K. And they were asking for 15K, 10K over. A Nissan will never hold that value, ever. Like, even the old beaters, the, the 240s and all that, they just don't hold values. They're not, not Nissan. Nissan isn't the one for that. And then that's the WRX. I came very close to getting the WRX because I was looking at four M2 competitions. There was the orange ones, two black ones. You guys saw the one at City of Cars. There was a couple out of state in like Pennsylvania and where was the other one? Oh, it was one in Ann Arbor, but that one sold. That was the cheapest one too, but I lost out on that one. But that one, the warranty was like up in a few months. But the WRX, still think that's the best performance value on the market. But after the one that I ordered sold, I, I was starting to look for other ones and a base model one fell into my realm. But I don't want the base model. Like I, I thought about it, thought about it back and forth and I don't want the base model. I'd rather have something like this than the base model WRX. No offense to the WRX community. Great car, especially in the premium trim on up, depending on what you want. I like the, the comforts, the heated steering wheel, heated seats, all the bells and whistles and stuff like that. And the WRX, as you know before, when I ordered mine, they were marking up like $1,000 for the tire package. Um, a lot of dealerships are still marking them up in my area, but I was able to talk down to the dealership, and I will not name their name because they asked me not to. They were able to get me 700 below MSRP, but they didn't have the color I wanted. So I was like, ah, I would have settled, and I'm, I don't want to do that. Not on that car, at least. I got to have exactly what I want. And then the other car, the Sweetheart, still plan on getting one of these one day soon. Don't know when. The Z28. So the one that I saw, it was actually about the same distance away from this one. And it had bronze wheels and it was white with black accents. But it had a few owners, it was tuned and it was in an accident. And then one came around me, it's like 20 miles away from me, but that thing has like a roll cage. It's been heavily modified. That car I want as close to stock as possible, if not 100% stock. And then there was one like eight hours away, but that thing was more than this car. And weighing it out, I don't want to pay that much for that car because it was up in the ZL1 territory and the Z28 is uh I wouldn't pay as much for the Z28 as I would the ZL1 so the ZL1 man great value of a car miss that thing so with all these cars this car kind of just I was watching I had a bunch of tabs open for weeks man that Z28 and this car kind of stayed up there and I hit up City of Cars like can you help me find one and they got one like magically the same day they got one but that wasn't the one for me. Got this one, got it at a nice price. But this car, and I wanted something impractical, but this could be a daily driver too. Super practical, super practical. Got a bunch of features in it that I like, like heated seats, heated steering wheel. Heated steering wheel, accurate. I like my heated steering wheels. This got that. So, still a fun car. Got a huge aftermarket to it. And this car, it still has a warranty. So me and BMW, them German cars scare me, but as long as I'm able to get a warranty, I am okay. I still got the basic warranty, powertrain warranty, so I'm all good. Got the PPI, everything checked out. Thing came back flawless. Got it done at a BMW dealership. So I got the peace of mind with that. The dealership that I bought it from, shout out to Muncie and Toyota. They also do their own separate warranty on the cars that they certify, because they have master techs there. So I got like a 6,000 mile warranty through that dealership too, along on top of the BMW dealership. So that really eased my mind, man. Shout out to them. They blew my mind with that dealership experience, man. The mods are about to commence shortly. I actually got a few tabs put up on some mods I want to do. About to, I got an appointment now. I'm about to head to another video. But yeah, that's what I ended up, this BMW M2 competition. So it's, to me, it's like the German pony car. So I could have got an M3 or M4, but the M2 is the sweetheart to me. Like I like, I hear that it has a better, it's a more enthusiastic car than the other two. Even though the other two are like real BMWs with more features and like they, they kind of cheap out on these. But the M3 and M4 got more stuff. This 21, it got more features to it as well. And they, the longer the M2 stayed around, like they upgraded to the real M engine, but it's detuned. But 
Yeah, I'm happy with my choice right here. Looking forward to the content. These gold wheels are awesome, man. These, I have to say that. But yeah, so to wrap up, the last reason. So I want to start doing the old school build. Like I like older cars. Always want the old school. So the cars that I like, I grew up with in my childhood. Like the uh, the Marauder came. Like I was in college when the Marauder came out. But like the 96 Impalas, the box Chevys of the 80s and things of that nature. Like those are cool. But I already own an old school car, but it's nothing like any of those. So I still have an E34 535i. I need to bring that thing back to life. And I think that'll be a good way to go in that direction with the channel to revitalize that thing. So it's still in running condition. Got the transmission like redone last year. But I'll drop a whole video on that, introduce you all to the car. So it's been in a couple videos, but it's just in the background. So it needs some TLC. But it can get back up into running condition. So I'm going to do that. If y'all like and subscribe to this channel, man, yeah, go ahead and show the channel some love. Like, I want to see that build, too. It's going to cost some money, so hopefully the views get up and I can fund that with the YouTube. If those funds come up, I'm doing a crazy build on that car. Well, not too insane, but I want to bring it up to my speed on how I like my car, so stay tuned for that. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell an auntie, cousin, your grandma. Let me show love on the channel, man, but everybody man come join the channel i welcome you aboard got a great community here so that's all i got to end with this video that's why i bought the m2 it just played out i feel like the universe put it here for me to buy and it was it was just like all right this is it but i'll get into the price in the future video and speaking of that don't forget to check out my channel go back i got a bunch of cars on here cars that i own didn't own do some reviews and things of that nature so thank you for being here thank you for watching this one I'm Q checking out, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.